The fact is that we are very fragile. The world is very fragile. Our existence is incredibly ephemeral. And the way we are living is not consistent with being here in the future. My name is Marcelo Gleiser, and I went into physics to help me understand who I am and why I'm here in this world. But as a professor in academia, I realized I wasn't living. I was just going through the motions, so to speak. A robot, you know, of the system. And I had to put a stop at that. And that was a turning point. You know, I said, I can't continue this way. I realized that it's about the understanding of our connection to the world that basically is the root of our existence. You do not have to go far in order to find the corner of the world that speaks to you in some sort of sacred way. And how do we do that? Perhaps the best way is to tell a story. My name's Len Nassifer. I come from the Navajo Nation. And I think the core of what it means to be Navajo is to be connected to a landscape. This young man called Len Nassifer is doing a very beautiful and powerful work, spreading the vision of connecting with the planet and with the land in ways which are sacred, respectful, and sustainable. And he's teaching this to people, you know, by taking them to the outdoors. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up with my grandfather and it was just learning by doing, effectively. He always told me, learn what you need to learn inside those four walls, but your first classroom is always out here. Like, this is where you become a better person. It's a classroom you can always return to. And that seed has always been there in my head. My name is Len Nessifer. I'm from the Navajo Nation, and I am a PhD candidate in the Department of Engineering and Public Policy at Carnegie Mellon University. This journey of getting my doctorate, working for government, becoming a professor, doing all these things, it really just started honestly with my grandfather. Spending a lot of time in places like Alaska and the Arctic. I started running into these questions I couldn't answer. And I think that was one of those points where I said, this is not working. You know, I have the skills and the training to operate here, but I'm just so unhappy. And so I decided to come back to that first classroom. And as I learned more about my own cultural traditions, I thought it would be a great opportunity to share that with others. The company that I started is called Natives Outdoors, and our mission is to empower Native peoples and Native communities to hone in on that connection between people and nature. We have to rethink our relationship to the planet. And Len Nassifer, he's doing this work to celebrate the importance of this land for him and his people. So it really is the seeking of this connectivity with the world that I think is essential. Wanting to be in nature more was, it was a gradual transition, trying to convey these stories about these places and how they're changing. Feels like a little bit of a homecoming. I'm sure someone, one of my ancestors at some point came up here. So my first big project is I went and skied our four sacred mountains. Yeah, everything from 14,000 foot peaks to 11,000 foot peaks here in New Mexico. And I, you know, figured that, you know, there hadn't been a Navajo person that skied them all. So I went and, I went out and did it. So along the way, I learned some of our ceremonial songs related to the mountains because it was that sort of idea of, of giving back. The mountains are my identity, and I don't think I fully realized that until I started spending time in the mountains. It was like, okay, this is who I am, this is what I enjoy, and I love this. 
It's about trying to revisit the notion of a universal spirituality that is beyond particular kinds of faiths. And that notion is about the sacredness of the world. So to people that consider spirituality a waste of time or some sort of magical thinking, I think we have to re-understand what we mean by spirituality. And it really is about our gratitude to the earth for being here right now. People take it for granted, right? We take it for granted so much. For the next trip, I went down the Yampa River to understand more and more my connection to place and the landscape. In Navajo, we say water has eyes, it has feelings, it has rights. And I think the way in which we see water is it's just a living being. There's a concept that we use called k'e, that like humans and nature aren't separate and we're part of this web. And that's that sort of give and take, because if we don't take care of the water, then that hurts us. And here in this part of the world, we're in the midst of a 1,200 year drought. And I think the water being central to our identity as Navajo people and to see a river effectively dying was just, I, you know, how, to, how do you reconcile those two? All my research in physics is much more about what caused the Big Bang, you know, and how did matter arise in the universe? But also, you know, I feel a sense of urgency. I mean, we spent all this time in this planet eating it from the inside out. That's exactly what we have done. And we have to change this narrative. And the only way we can do that is by sharing experiences of being in the world. So running, for me, is basically just a form of connecting really viscerally with the land, which means you have to be present in the moment. And it's just really you. So the exercise is really an exercise in, in, in self-knowledge and self-awareness. You know, you're doing this because you want to push the boundaries of who you are. Is this act of devotion that's your endurance, your limits. In my case, you know, a completely religious experience. <sighs> yeah, I'll go up this way. Yeah, you tell me. Okay. I'm very thankful that, uh, that you are showing me all this. You know, I mean, I love being part of this and truly the sacredness and, and the value of being in this place. Hearing about Marcelo's story and where he's at in his career and, and how he's come to a similar realization or understanding, yeah, I'm excited to talk to him. The lesson that we are learning from modern science is precisely the interconnectivity of everything, mm -hmm. right? I mean, from the stuff we are made of, the atoms that came from stars that irrigated, in a sense, this planet when it was forming. So we are one, literally one, with the universe. Well, that reminds me of my grandfather when he was taking me out and, you know, I said, well, you know, had this whole question of like, I'm, I'm not like part of this whole web of things that you're talking about. He said, look at your hand, you know, you're here in everything. These are the mountains, the rivers, they're on your hand. You always look at that and that's the reminder mm -hmm. that you're kind of in the center of all of those things. Mm -hmm. We are, and we repeat the patterns too. Look, rivers fork, trees fork, we fork, Yeah. right? I mean, look, we've, we're forking, <laughs> Yeah. right? And so this repetition of patterns show that there is a deep unity in nature and they're all part of the same, as you said, web of being. Mm -hmm. It exposes you to the essence of who you are. We are much older than we think we are. You know, our assembly of molecules is young, a few decades, but the stuff that these molecules are made of, they are billions of years old. And so we are part of this cosmic history I would say it's almost like what we as Navajo people have tried to encapsulate in our spiritual traditions is just trying to have reverence for that awe or that sense of peace or whatever comes from being in, in a stunning landscape. Once you 
reinvent spirituality. Position yourself in a deep understanding that we belong to this earth. The earth does not belong to us. We are here as a favor of the elements, as a consequence of all sorts of different accidents of genetics and cosmic events. Then you start to look at the world with a kind of humility. Carrying on that legacy of my grandfather, living in reciprocity, living in balance as much as I can. It's never a final state or a state that you can reach, but something to aspire to.